بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome dear students This is Miss Layla Al-Jahani In شاء الله today we will continue our unit Unit 1 um, In شاء الله today we will cover uh, Lesson 4 and 5 Listening and pronunciation If we want to remember What we have covered in the previous lesson Previous lesson you took the grammar um, You uh, learned the simple present uh, With using verb to be um, yes, no question, how to form yes, no questions and the short answer for these questions. Also, you learned how to form the WH questions. Um, inshallah, today we will continue just a small part of the grammar. We have um, page five. We will finish, we will continue that part and we will do the homework together. But for the listening and pronunciation, by the end of that lesson, inshallah, you will be able to listen for specific information about a hotel stay, okay? Uh, also, you will be able to use yes, no question, WH question, intonation uh, properly. So you will know how to uh, rise and fall uh, when you pronounce the, que uh, the question. Okay. For your homework, your teacher assigned page 90 and 91. Today we will do 90 together. Inshallah, next class we will do 91, okay? So um, if you can open your books, I'm sure you did the homework, uh, page 90, okay? The, this is the exercise assigned to you. Read the conversation, complete the sentences with a form of the verb to be. So you have to use verb to be. Can you remember? Um, verb to be, I, uh, simple present verb to be. So can you give, tell me the, the simple, uh, the verb to be in simple present? Yes, is, are, when I say I am, excellent. So we have am, is and are. Sometimes we have it with the negative. When you see not, you have to use the negative, okay? So this is the exercise. Let's see the answers together. Mr. Akina, hello. My name is Mr. Akina. What is wrong? John, hello, Mr. Akina. My suitcases are not here. Mr. Akina, what color are they? John, they are black. Mr. Akina, are they big? John, one is big. The other one is not big. Mr. Akina, is that your suitcase? John, no, it is not. Mr. Akina, are you here on vacation? So this is um, the answers we have is, is, and when you have not, like here, when you have not here, you have to use the negative, aren't. Um, also here we have negative in 10, we uh, used is not. This is from 12 to 19, let's hear the conversation together. John, yes, I am. Mr. Akina, where are you from? John, I am from Los Angeles. Mr. Akina, well, there are three more flights from Los Angeles today. John, are my suitcases on a different flight? Mr. Akina, I don't know. What is the name of your hotel? John, it is the Royal Hawaiian. Mr. Akina, is that near the airport? John, no, it is not. It is on the other side of the island. Mr. Akina, I can call you when we find your suitcases. John, but I need them now. Mr. Akina, I am sorry. That is all I can do. They simply are not here right now. John, okay. Thanks, Mr. Akina. Okay, this is for exercise C. You saw um, the answers uh, the proper way. I'm sure you did uh, really good. If Double check your answers. And if you have a wrong um, answer, double check what went wrong okay just check um, is it singular is it plural with the singular we use is if you're talking about yourself you say i and you use am with the negative sometimes you forget to put the negative double check your answers um, and here on your book page five we have another part related to grammar okay exercise c on your book you have different pictures of people talking to each other okay um, here, match the responses of the situations, then practice the conversation with the partner, okay? So this is grammar also, speaking, practice. So when you finish this exercise, 
have five minutes practice in this conversation with a partner, okay? Let one of you ask the question and the other one respond, okay? And you can switch uh, parts, okay? So here we have A, no, I'm Luke Robbins, that's all right, B, nice to meet you, and C, D, fine, thanks, E, you're welcome, F, William, but my friends call me Bill, okay? So for the first one, it's an example. They already have the answers. They provided the answer in your book. Are you Dr. Phillips? How are you doing? So the answer for it is A, no, I'm Luke Robbins. Okay, this is for number one. Pause the video, look at the exercises, look at the questions from one until six, look at the conversations, try to match these letters with the proper conversation, okay? If you finished, let's see the answers together, okay? So we have number two. Let me introduce you to my sister Amina. So when someone introduces someone to you, what do you respond? Which respond would you use? Excellent, nice to meet you. This is how you respond. You would say, nice to meet you, okay? Three, are you Dr. Phillips? How are you doing, okay? The um, answer will be D, fine, thanks, okay? Four, I'm Lee, what's your name? This is um, conversation four. I'm Lee, what's your name? So if someone asks for your name, what would you respond? Yes, F, excellent. Williams, but my friends call me Bill. So you give them your name. Five, when someone says, I'm sorry, you will say, that's. Fine, thanks. No. That's all right. Excellent. This is how you respond to when someone apologizes or says sorry. Okay? When someone says thanks, thank you so much, how do you respond? Excellent. You're welcome. This is how you respond. This is number six, the last uh, of the exercise on page five. This is the last part of your grammar. Um, for your listening, you will hear a conversation, okay? Can you look, when you look at the picture and you look at this table, what do you think the conversation will be about? What do we call the man here? The man, he is, uh, on your book, he's in front of him, there is a trolley with luggages. Where do you think this man work? Is he working in a hospital? No, is he a teacher? No, where do you think he is working? In a hotel, excellent, he's working in a hotel. So, do you think he is the receptionist? He is behind the de desk and checking in people to the hotel? No, he is, we call him bellhop, okay? Hotel bellhop, okay? This is how they call it. So we have the conversation between Mr. Wilson and the hotel bellhop, okay? Complete the information about him. So we have this table. While you are listening to the conversation, you will try to get and guess um, what kind of questions they will ask. When someone asks about nationality, so they, maybe they will ask in the conversation, where are you from, okay? Yes? So um, they will ask for a room or floor number. So will you, they will ask for uh, a number. You have to listen for a number when you are listening. Number of days in a hotel. What do you think the question will be? How long are you staying? Okay. Uh, purpose of your visit. Uh, are you here uh, on vacation or for work? So this is maybe the type of question you will hear in the conversation, okay? Um, while you are listening, inshallah, we, I will play the record, the, 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 the listening twice, okay? You will hear it, inshallah. And you will try to fill out these information about the conversation, okay? 
Let's hear it together. Porter, good morning, sir. Let me take your suitcase. Mr. Wilson, oh, thank you. Porter, welcome to the hotel. Is this your first time here? Mr. Wilson, yes, it's my first visit to America. Porter, where are you from? Mr. Wilson, I'm from the UK, Portsmouth, actually. Porter, are you here on vacation? Mr. Wilson, no, I'm here for a one-day meeting. Porter, please check in here. Porter, what's your room number, sir? Mr. Wilson, 905. Porter, that's on the ninth floor. Don't worry about your suitcase. I'll bring it right up. Mr. Wilson, thank you. Okay, this is the conversation, you heard it. Did you guess all the answers? Did you manage to fill out this table? Inshallah you did. If you haven't, don't worry. I will play the recording again and you will hear it. Try to focus, um, listen to the questions and then look, uh, look for the answers. They will ask about nationality, the room number, number of days in the hotel, how long they will stay in the hotel, the reason why they are here, why they are visiting, the purpose of the visit. Porter, good morning, sir. Let me take your suitcase. Mr. Wilson, oh, thank you. Porter, welcome to the hotel. Is this your first time here? Mr. Wilson, yes, it's my first visit to America. Porter, where are you from? Mr. Wilson, I'm from the UK, Portsmouth, actually. Porter, are you here on vacation? Mr. Wilson, no, I'm here for a one-day meeting. Porter, please check in here. Porter, what's your room number, sir? Mr. Wilson, 905. Porter, that's on the ninth floor. Don't worry about your suitcase. I'll bring it right up. Mr. Wilson, thank you. Okay, you have listened to the conversation twice. Inshallah, you managed to answer all the questions. The nationality, the room number, you were uh, listening to uh, numbers, uh, number of days, also it's a number, one day, two days. Which one is it? Excellent, one day. Uh, why is he visiting? Is he there to visit family? Is he there to, um, as a tourist, to uh, see the city, see America? No, he is there to, to attend the meeting. Excellent. What about his nationality? Is he American? No, he is British. What about the room number? Did you guess the room number? Excellent, it's 905. These are the answers. He is British, the nationality British. Room and floor number 905 in the ninth floor. Number of days at hotel. He stayed, he is staying for one day. Purpose of visit, the reason he is there to attend a meeting. These are the answers for the listening part. So, when, have you ever been to a hotel? When you go to a hotel, okay? If you haven't done, imagine that you did. When you go to a hotel and you go to the reception and you want to check in, what do they ask about the people working in, in your hotel? What do they ask? They, will, they ask different questions. When you check in, maybe they will give you a paper to fill it in. They will ask, give me example of the things they will ask you. They will ask for your name, excellent. What else they will ask for? They will ask for your ID card, maybe passport, your identification. What else they will ask for? Excellent, your mobile number. They will ask also for what? Sometimes they will ask, you cannot just go to a hotel and check in. Sometimes you have to have what? Excellent reservation. They will ask for a reservation. They will tell you what is your reservation number. So when you give it, give them your reservation number. All your information will be there, um, like your first name. Maybe they will ask who is with you, your family members. Okay. What else they will ask? Will they ask about uh, your hometown, where you are working? No. These are private information. This is not to share with uh, anyone else. So what kind of information a hotel guest, guest usually have to give? To give the hotel, they will ask for first name, last name, maybe address, telephone number, email address, etc. These are the type. They will ask for your credit card for payment. These are the things they ask 
for, okay? Now for the pronunciation, uh, look at your books. You have here two lists of questions. What is the difference? Do you notice the difference between these questions? These are great, excellent. These are yes, no questions. And these are WH questions. So we have two types, yes, no questions and WH questions. Okay. Notice the, ri the rising and the falling intonation, then practice. What do they mean? This is the rising and this is the falling. What do they mean? When you are talking, you don't have the same tone all the time. Sometimes you have rises in your tone and sometimes you have a low tone. Okay? Um, you will hear the audio and it will be more clearer. Like for example, when you're saying, when you're talking to your friends and someone tell you a great news, you say, really? You raise your tone, okay? So when we are talking, we're not using the same tone. If we use the same tone, we're not human. We are robots, okay? So we have to have intonation to make our uh, way of talking more natural, okay? So let's hear how they pronounce the rise here in the um, yes, no questions and the fall here in WH question. Listen to the audio, I will play it twice. Try to read the questions after the audio, okay? Are you a student? Are they from Jordan? Is he on vacation? The stress is at the end of the questions, okay? Let's hear how they pronounce the WH questions. What's her name? Where is she from? Who are they? Okay, so what's her name? Where is she from? Who are they? Okay, so you stress on the first part and then you fall at the end of the question okay this is how you pronounce the yes no question and wh questions try to practice let's hear it one more time okay and try to practice more and read the questions more you can go back to your grammar part the uh, grammar related to yes no question wh to practice more the pronunciation are you a student are they from jordan is he on vacation and for the WH question. What's her name? Where is she from? Who are they? Okay, this is uh, how you uh, pronounce it. Um, I will assign Charlotte today for your homework is page your 91. Your teacher um, assigned page 1991. If you haven't done it, I'm sure most of you already uh, did uh, this homework. If you haven't done it already, uh, please do it. Inshallah, we will check the answers next class, page uh, 91. If we want to recall what we covered in our lesson, in our lesson, we listened for, um, to, to a conversation between two men. Do you remember who are these people? Yes, Mr. Wilson and the porter, the porter, the man who um, who is working in a hotel and who, who takes the luggage to um, the room, okay? We um, learned what type of information you give to other people uh, working in a hotel, you, what kind of information you can reveal to them. And also we learned how to uh, pronounce um, uh, yes, no questions and WH questions, the rise and the fall. Um, so the rise will be with yes, no questions and the fall will be with WH question. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Inshallah, I will uh, see you next class and good luck.